Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So I'm here to do a Reading in Heels unboxing. Um, there is actually going to be a bit of a two-in-one. I'm going to be unboxing the April 2019 and May 2019 subscription all at the same time. I was away for some of April, so I didn't get a chance to kind of um, to film an unboxing at that time. So I'm going to film them both now all in one video. If you do just want to skip ahead and see the May box, then I'll put a timestamp here. Um, otherwise, let's get into the April box. Now, from the March Reading in Hills box, we received the book House of Beauty by Melba Escobar. Um, so, as usual, I'm just going to kind of tell you what I thought of this book. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it's one of those books that's been translated from another language, I believe, um, and it's set in Bogota, which is not a place I've read about before. It's kind of a bit of a violent um, place, somewhere that's kind of, there's a lot of unrest and things. Um, but ultimately, this is about um, kind of the connections between the different characters in the books. It centres around... Um, a beautician at the House of Beauty, as you would expect from the front cover, um, a girl who is murdered, and yeah, it's a really kind of exciting page turner of a read. It's not too thick. Um, yeah, it was a really, really enjoyable read. I definitely recommend checking this one out. It's not one I would have picked up otherwise, so I was really excited um, to get such a page turner in the box. So here's April's box. You will see it's already kind of been unwrapped. Made the mistake of saying to my mum, what's that delivery that's just arrived while I was on holiday? And she unwrapped it for me. So everything is a little bit unwrapped, but I'll um, take you through, tell you everything that we've got uh, going on in here. So we've got um, an eye mask. This is the Diamond Eye Brighten and Deep Puff. Um, so it says it's made with real diamond and caffeine extracts. It's not one I've used, it's by Vitamasks. I've used Vitamasks before though, so it should be pretty good. A nice little treat for while you're reading a book. We've got a chocolate bar, um, which is Easter themed. It's by Coco and it's their Easter Spice Milk Chocolate. Um, obviously nice for the time of year, for Easter time when the box arrived. Um, so it says it's origin made, palm oil free, gluten free and vegetarian. Um, so that sounds like it'd be quite tasty if you like spice. And who doesn't want a bit of chocolate with their book? Then we've got a little tea bag from Joe's Tea Company. Um, this is the St. Clement's Lemon flavour. And I love how it comes in a cute little box. It's just like one little mesh tea bag in there. There is a little pack of post-it notes, which is always quite handy if you want to make any notes or maybe annotate certain pages of the book um, or make notes, anything like that. And finally, this is the book that came in the April box. And having read it, I can now kind of let you know my little review on it. This is another one that's been translated uh, from another language into English and it's called Liar by Islet Gunda Goshen. So you can see the ice cream on the front. It centers around a kind of plain girl that works in an ice cream parlor and something happens. She kind of wrongly accuses somebody, which is why it's called Liar. And then it's all about the different um, kind of stories interwoven again with relatives and strangers and kind of all the things that go on. I don't want to say too much and spoil it, but it was another kind of page turner. I got through it pretty quick because it was like, oh, what's going to happen next? Oh, what's going to happen next? So yeah, it was a good book and I was happy with it and happy with the ending and everything. So yeah, loved that book as well. So here is everything that came in the April 2019 Reading in Heels box. What do you think of this month's box? Keep watching if you want to see what came in the May box. So this brings us to the May 2019 box, which as you can see, I haven't yet opened, so I have no idea what's inside. So let's get into it. Oh, okay. So I can see our chocolate treat here is by Mallow and Marsh. Now I have had a Mallow and Marsh product before. They're basically like um, a bar with marshmallow inside, usually covered in chocolate or something, although this one I 
think is just an actual marshmallow without any chocolate. Um, I've only ever seen them in Starbucks in the UK and I think they cost about 175, 180, they're pretty pricey. But this is the Salted Caramel Marshmallow Bar. Um, and it says, forget everything you thought you knew. This is marshmallow, but not as you know it. Explain Mallow and Marsh. And we think you'll agree. These are really rather extraordinary marshmallows made by hand. Their new salted caramel bar is just divine. Light, fluffy and impossibly delicious. If it's anything like the chocolate one I had, I think it will be very, very tasty. Oh, okay. Hello. So it's a mirror, um, a little handheld mirror. There's something to check your lipstick on the tube. This is it. We hope you love your these pretty printed mirrors, perfect for pockets or even the most diminutive clutch. Whatever may be their use in civilised societies, mirrors are essential to all violent and heroic action. And if they're good enough for Virginia Woolf, always kind of handy to have a little mirror to hand. the beauty products this month we've got a face serum and a face scrub and this is by up circle beauty it says up circle skincare products are not only good they're good for the environment too the british brand repurposes coffee grounds elevating them to something entirely more elegant you'll find hydrating organic face serum in your box plus a for floral face exfoliator too get ready to glow so this one it says is a citrus blend and this one is your serum to hydrate and firm. I love that they've been made in the UK as well. It's nice to support British brands. Then for our kind of drink this month, we've got a coffee bag, which is a nice change from tea because not everybody likes tea. Some people would prefer coffee. I like a bit of both. So this is by Percol and it's their Colombian coffee bag in strength number three. It says, pioneering the use of organic single origin beans, Percol made the first ground coffee to be fair trade certified and they invest in the farmers they work with too. We love their coffee bags, rich, packed full of flavour and so easy if you fancy a good coffee on the go. Prefer something stronger? Head to the blog for our fail safe espresso martini recipe. So something uh, delicious to drink there alongside your book. And then finally, let's get into the book this month. This is called Ponty by Charlene Ted. Not a book or author I'm familiar with. Let's see what it's about. It says, it is 2003 and in the sweltering heat of Singapore, 16 year olds Sue and Circle, Cirque, Sue and Cirque, develop an intense friendship. For Sue, it offers an escape from Amisa, her beautiful cruel mother, once an actress and now the silent occupant of their rusty house. But for Cirque, their friendship does the opposite, bringing her one step closer to the fascinating, unknowable Amisa. 17 years later, Cirque finds herself adrift and alone. And then a project comes up at work, a remake of the cult 70s horror film series, Ponte, the same series that defined Amisa's short-lived film career. Suddenly Cirque is knocked off balance by memories of the two women she once knew, by guilt and by a lost friendship that threatens her conscience. And it says one of the most exciting books I've read in ages. It deserves prizes. So I'm hopeful this will be an exciting read as I have been extremely happy with all the other books that I've received um, from this subscription. So yeah, I'm pretty hopeful that this is gonna be a good one. Like I said, it always tends to include books that you might not necessarily have noticed yourselves on the shelves, um, but that is actually a really, really good read. So here's everything that came in the May subscription box. I do hope you've enjoyed watching my unboxing. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings. There's a link under the video if you do want to check out this subscription. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!